Hello, my name is Ruben, I'm a GIS specialist and in today's video we are going to briefly explore the ArcGIS Survey 123 data collection solution. To start just go to survey123.arcgis.com and log in with your ArcGIS online account. Click on the login button and it's in this window that we will create our survey. Let's click on new survey. In this new window we have three options that we can choose from. The first one is a blank survey, the second one a template survey and the third one is a survey that is connected with the spreadsheet. Let's start with the blank one. In this new window we have access to the ArcGIS Survey 123 main bar right here at the top and also the second bar that shows us some features of the survey that we are going to create. Let's start by giving a title to our survey. For this example we can call it Survey 123 YouTube Tutorial. Let's set the title right here on the right side. Let's call it the same. We can also give a description or we can give some information about the survey to the respondent. In this example, let's just type survey made for YouTube tutorial. This is just an example. And let's start filling our survey. Here in this panel on the right we have some options that we can choose. If we click on add uh, we can choose different types of questions that we can apply uh, as we will see. Uh, in edit we will be able to edit all the elements of the questions and answer types. In appearance we can change some of the survey styles. And finally, in options, we can have some things that we can change, such as the final thank you message. Let's start this survey by clicking on add. And right here uh, at the right, we can start with this single line text. Just drag and drop to the left, click on the question, and now we can edit this question. Let's start with, for example, the name. On the hint, we can give a hint of the answer or some informations. I will type fill in your name. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see that we can choose a, a default value. I don't think it's necessary in this example. We can set this question as uh, required. I will check this option. And for now, that's all. Let's click on save. We can now move to the second one, go back to add. And let's choose now the number. Drag and drop the number. And the we can ask for the VAT number, for example. We can give uh, some information once again, fill in your VAT number. I want this number to be an, an integer. And this is required as well. This is just an example. If we check uh, questions as required, we can see that we have this symbol, this red symbol after the question. So let's move to the third one. On this one, let's choose uh, date or we can actually choose date and time. We can say that these questions we are asking for the today's date So the int will be today's date and time. For the default value, we can choose submit in date and time. 
to be pre-filled with the real date and time of whoever is responding or if we select specific date and time we can choose a specific date and time we can set this as required as well and let's move to the fourth one now let's choose this single select for example and we can ask for age group for example we can also give a hint for example let me think uh, select your age group and let's choose some age groups 18 to 30 for example 31 to 40 41 to 50 let's click on this plus button to add more options 51 to 60 61 to 70 71 to 80 and more than 81 or actually more than 80 let's set this as a required question and we could actually select this other option to choose other age group be aware that in the single select uh, question option we can only uh, the respondent can only select one of the options but if we choose this multiple select the respondent can select uh, multiple options okay let's ask for the favorite sports for for the hint we can can say select your favorite sports and let's just choose some options football cycling basketball let's add one more running and now let's select this other option so the respondent can choose other sport since we have this other option now what we can do it's going to add once again and we can select this single line text at the bottom let's add it and we can ask for if you answered other please specify the sport okay and now what we need to do i want this as a required question as well now in behavior let's go into set rule and every time in favorite sports the other is selected this question will appear for the respondent to type the favorite sport that is not on the previous list on this visible make sure that this dash is selected and that's all let's move to the next question let's choose this drop down menu and now I want uh, the number of sports that the respondent practice on a daily basis. So number of sports you practice, one to three, let's add more than three. This is a required question as well. Let's move to the final question that is this map option. This type of question is super interesting because it gives us the opportunity to collect spatial data. Let's ask for the favorite places to, to practice sports, for example, to practice sports. And for the hint, um, draw the area in the map. 
I want this as area and we can set this polygon, this first one. For the map extent, I want uh, the extent to start on a specified above, so I will specify the area of the map. I will choose Portugal, my country, and I want this as required as well. Let's click save and it's finished. Right here on the bottom right corner, let's click on publish to publish this survey, okay? Now, if we go to the page bar on my surveys, we have all the surveys that we create. Let's click right here on open survey and let's type some answer. So field name, VT number, here we can choose a date. I'll choose the date of the day, 18 September. We can select age group, the favorite sports, and if we select other, we can see that the, the other question appear right here and we can type uh, the other sport, for example, skate. Number of sports you practice, and then here on the map, we can draw the favorite place to practice sports, okay? And then we can submit a super simple survey and now let's see the results. To check the results, click on this Analyze button. At the left, we have all the questions and on the right, all the, the answers and uh, the data of the answers or the statistics of the answers. Okay, so we have uh, in counts and in percentage as well. Let's click on data and here uh, there's something, something super interesting that is the geographical data of the last question. So the favorite places to practice sports. And to import this to ArcGIS Pro, for example, we can go to this export option and we have this CSV, Excel, KML, shapefile and file geodatabase. To finish, we can go to this overview right here at the top where we can see for example the total uh, total records the date of, of records and if we need a link to share this survey we go to collaborate and here at the top we have this option to to share the link or even create a QR code thank you for watching if you like this type of content don't forget to like subscribe and comment what you want to learn next.